In this video, I want to talk a little bit about um, adding new methods to um, a class and how the um, method definitions that you add relate to the um, method signatures and method calls. So let's take a look at um, our turtle example. I'm going to put a new turtle on here in our world and we see that right now there are a bunch of methods that we can inherit from actor or from animal but uh, the turtle itself uh, we just see this one method signature here void act so if we look inside um, the uh, class definition for the turtle we see here this this business right here that says we're going to um, be defining the turtle class and that the turtle class extends animals. So see we see here uh, turtle is a kind of animal. In the editor the way that we express that is we say that turtle extends animal. And then we have this method here void act. So this business right here, this public is is not something we need to worry about right now. It's a, um, you know, that's the, the um, tells us the level of access for this um, method. But um, if we let, let's focus for a minute on this this bit right here, the void act. So void is our return type. Act is the name of the method, and um, the parameter list is empty. So let's take a look at, again at what that looks like just to remind ourselves in here what we see is void act. Okay. Um, so we see if we can we can add more methods. Let's see, I'm going to actually maybe the clearest way is to I'm going to um, put my cursor so see this little red line right here is the cursor and I'm going to I'm going to click um, after the closing brace for the act method and hit enter and now I have this white line right here okay because I'm I'm no longer inside the act method but let's say and I'll put one more just to make it clearer so now you can see where the cursor is so it's outside of the my cursor is now outside of the act method. It's outside of that this yellow block, but it's still inside the larger green block because it's still inside the uh, the class definition. And now I'm going to go up to the edit menu, and I'm going to pick insert method, and hit enter. And we see what happens is um, we get these comments. It says an example of a method. Replace this comment with your own. And then it says param y. So we have a parameter here, a sample parameter for a method. And you can see that parameter in the actual um, signature for the method right here, int y. And then it says at return, the sum of x and y. I don't know why it says that, because there's no x here. So, um, but this is just a random sample, so I guess they're not really paying attention to what's in the comments very much. But anyway, what we have here is, just as we, we had with the act method, we have the, the um, public there to um, tell us what our access is. And then um, for act, the return type was void. For this sample method, the return type is int. So that means we're going to... Um, get an, an integer back and in fact this is a very simple method all it does is it returns y so what is y y is the integer the parameter that's passed um, to this method that integer there so let's compile this and just so you can see what that looks like now so remember before when we looked at the turtle all we saw was the, the only um, method defined just for the turtle was was void act. But now we've defined this int 
sample method with, with a single parameter, this um, y parameter uh, of type int. So let's see what that looks like now. So I'm going to say new turtle, put it right here, and I'll open it up. And now we have void act, and we have int sample method. So that's how you can add it. And oh, I actually called it. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me just start again. So I'm gonna. So I'm control clicking here. I have void act, and I have int sample method. So if I if I pick void act, it does nothing because there was nothing in the act method at this point. But sample method does have something. It returns y. It returns whatever was input. So notice. Because this is at, needs a parameter, we're going to get a method call box coming up where we type in the parameter. And because it has a return type that's not void, we're going to get a method result, and the result is going to be whatever we put in there. So let's let's run it now. And sample method. Okay, so I'm going to type in a seven, and it's going to give. Um, uh, y is going to be given the value of 7, and then it's going to return y. So let's see what that does. So it just returns the 7. Okay. If I uh, say return negative 98 and hit OK, it returns negative 98. Okay, and, the, and the simple reason for that is that whatever it's given as input, it's going to return it as output. And notice it has to get it; it gets an integer as input, and it returns an integer as output.